Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today it's the beginning of my uh, technique club. I started a technique and a fun fold club. Let me explain to you how this is going to work. Every month I'm going to offer a new technique that um, <clears throat> everybody's going to see the video but if you want to have to make your own book for techniques and fun fold with an order of $35 you're going to get both of that month and it's going to be released about mid-month the hostess code that include uh, involved this only going to be good for 10 days right below you get the direct link for all the extra detail to go to my blog so um like I said, you're going to have the fold, one, uh, the recipe for the fold, recipe for the technique, and this can be printed out to keep in the three ring binder. You will have the recipe, you will have two cards to uh, the step by step for each. And here is what I'm sharing today it's the rubber band technique, and then here's the two cards. So I will offer that every month. If you participate for six months conservative, uh, you will receive a free stamp set from me of $20 value. Okay, let's get starting with this. This is rubber band stamping. It's many ways we can do rubber band stamping. No, this is not a new technique. It's been around for a long time. But I want many people ask me for a book as easy way to find or you can keep it on your computer also you don't have to print them you can keep the download on your computer so this one here I did like the checker background and this one I just did that fun background so I'm going to share with you how this was done so we're going to start with a piece here of uh, cardstock and like I said all the measurement and so on will be in the download so i'm going to bring a um, grid paper i find this very friendly to do for this one here we're going to place our paper right there one thing you can do you can use just um, let's say a little piece of um, a seal place your paper so it's going to stay straight so that way you're going to know that your paper is straight I got those jumbo, um, very jumbo post-it note. You don't have to have these jumbo post-it note. You can take just paper, regular copy paper to make your mask and just use a little bit of snail at each, not snail, but the seal or glue at each end. I'm going to do half inch, so that's two um, square and that's why I think this is very handy to put on a grid paper and that reason it's you know your line is going to be super straight and then I did about oh, one and a quarter it doesn't matter you can do different size I'm going to do about this size this time so now we got our paper now what I done I wrap my, let me do another one so you can see. I got a um, mix uh, rubber band. It doesn't matter the size. You can use any size. This one here, I use the D block. And what I done, I just twist my rubber band around. And I use three rubber band. You can do more, you can do less, whatever that floats your boat. Boom, like this. Now, I'm going to use the Pretty Peacock uh, ink for this one because it's my thing is still like this. Another thing that you could do to uh, it's um, for this one, it's not as important, but I think it make it a little bit uh, smoother. It's to use your uh, oh your piercer mat. Here we go. You could always the. Uh, paper peels mat you can always put that under it's just give a little bit of cushion and then you're just gonna stamp randomly it's no right and wrong um, everyone will look different right here we go 
so I'm going to call this good and now to blend that a little bit more here what I done I use the seaside spray for this one and I sponge lightly so I'm going to take this now let me remove this and I'm going to sponge lightly so with our mass on each side it's going to give us that nice border it really make a fun background you can do the full uh, sheet of paper if you want whatever it's no right and wrong it's really nice for a background okay we're going to remove that and you're going to see how this turn out boom and boom voila my friend how simple this was right now i can like i said i could do a full background and see does it look like mm, i don't know like grass so that was another one that i was trying now let's do the chicker chickers <laughs> um i'm going to use a piece of um crumb cake that's what i done the card with that i get well i have it here I got a little bit too much stuffy. Here we go. So again, you want to put a piece. I, I find it easier if you put it uh, on one minute, not this, this here, on your phone, the mat. Now, this one here, I use the big F block. And I use bigger rubber bands, see? And I put them straight, well straight, it, it can be off a bit, doesn't matter, but they're not twisted, they are flat. Now, I'm going to leave this down, and I'm going to bring my cherry cobbler, and we're going to ink this. Now you're going to ask me, how are you going to clean that? Because you could use that with different color without, uh, you know, doing the... Uh, the rubber band again just rinse that under running water now i'm going to come here and i'm going to put that right here and even if it's off a bit it's okay now tap this here lift this up boom see you get your nice stripes so you can do just stripes if you want the rubber band technique, it's no limit on how many background you can do. It's very much fun to do. Now, I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to come over here. See, this is not as big as the card there, but what I'm going to do, it's once. Press this down, lift this up. Now, I'm going to go back to finish my pattern. and then let's go and i just going to eyeball that about all oh, should be about right here voila how simple so now you just get the checkers like that now what i done to fill this i find it easier to have just one so this one is smaller and i put that on the edge block i'm going to use um, mossy metal for this one Oops. and what I done I just went and fill in the gap meaning in between each square there and then you're gonna see when on the other side our block it's not the right length so I'm gonna share with you how you're going to fill those gaps. So it doesn't matter um, how big or small your thing is, we're going to make this work. Well, maybe I can even go right at the edge here. Here we go. Now for this one, you're going to go this way, and I go right, I try to stop on one of the red, okay? So I'm going to come right here, and then go back and align this. See, it don't even show that I um, kind of um, whatever 
keep on go whatever it looked like it was the same piece right oh this one I went below the camera it's a little bit in my way but here it's gonna be good all is good here we go here we go so if you go right up on top of it a little bit that's going to help you quite a bit to align it here we go and that's it so that's how I done like the buffalo check or the checkers whatever you call it so now you get this one you can do a uh, some um, straight also like this one I did flat so one that I could do with that let me bring this back here let me bring a piece of cardstock here so this one here let's say I'm gonna go in coastal cabana and I can go this way So you can do all kind of background uh, stamps with that. And when you add your um, focal, uh, your let's say your greeting, if you use, uh, like I use a die over here, that's the pine die. You see it dress up the whole thing and here was the forever uh, fern. So it looked kind of funky, but it's a great way to do a fun background. See? So this is it, my friend, for the rubber band uh, technique. And again, to find out how to get all the printout or to save uh, the download and so on, right below you get the direct link and come and check it out right there on my blog. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Happy stamping!